round, get around, I get around, yeah, get around, round, round, I get around. And what a way to get around. Vicky chose some of the rough and pretty tough terrain of a national park to get herself into mountain bike gear. But she didn't do it on her own. Joining her was Luke Campagnero, mountain bike whiz kid, and Peter Mondesi, who represented Australia in the 1990 World Mountain Bike Championships in Colorado. Oh my God, wait for me. Oh, I give up. Oh. As you can see, we're at the National Park and uh, plenty of rugged terrain around here. And we're bike riding, but not just normal bike riding, we're mountain bike riding. And uh, it's a fairly new sport and it hurts a little bit <coughs> if you've done it for a while. And Peter actually waited for me, so maybe we should ask Peter um, a little bit about the sport. Yeah. This hurts after a while, Peter, yeah. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> Is, how long has the sport been going for? Um, it's only going for about uh, four years in Australia, but um, in America and in Europe it's been going for about ten years, so it's relatively uh, new here. Is it a different kind of bike riding to regular that the kids might be doing? Yeah, it is different than, uh, say, road racing or BMX, so because you're out in the country, out in the terrain, you're going down hills, up hills and through creeks and stuff, so uh, it differs than road racing when you're just normally on the road. And uh, also uh, it's different than BMX because it's more of an endurance sport than what the BMX is. Right. How much difference does a bike have to be? Yeah, the bikes are uh, very different. Uh, well, first of all, the first thing you'll probably notice will be that the fat tyres put better grip and stuff in the dirt. And also uh, you've got the, the flat handlebars compared to the BMX bars and you've got the gears on top of the handlebars. And also you've got uh, you know, approximately 18 or 21 gears too. When it comes to racing, are there any races that you can compete in? Yeah, there's races uh, all around Australia and every state and stuff, so, and they uh, cater for all ages as well, so, yeah. Uh, is it a different kind of race from the kids to the adults, though? Yeah, uh, the kids only ride, say, about a half an hour, and the seniors or experts would ride an hour and a half, so it's a fair bit longer for the older guys. What about clubs you can join? Yeah, there's uh, clubs in each state, and uh, you can contact the Australian uh, Mountain Bike Association if you want to join a club. And if you do plenty of practice, you might even get a bit better at it. Yeah, that's right. Well, look, Luke's gone off into the distance. If we don't get going, we're never going to catch him. Okay. So head off. Let's go. Sure, no mercy, let me see. Oh, I can push it. Why did you get into it? Oh, uh, well, I, I just um, thought about mountain biking and my mum bought, she bought me a bike and, um, and then I just started getting into it and now I do mountain bike riding. <laughs> and do you have any other friends that you go out riding with? Oh, uh, yeah, a couple of friends from school, they got mountain bikes and we ride around a lot. How often would you go out? Uh, about every day. Yeah? Yeah. Really? We're all wearing helmets, do you, do you always do that? Yeah. Pretty good idea, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, guys, I'm getting pretty good at this stuff. Yeah. I think I've got it down pat. Race you home, okay? All right. Yep. <laughs> Good story. Good on you, Vic. There you go, mountain bikes. But I think I'll stick to this. Yeah, I, we made a mistake with these. We forgot to mention that you should...